Flip, flip the camera. We want to see the house. We've seen enough of you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome, I'm, awesome presentation. Presently, I'm inside, I'm inside the master bedroom. Why don't you stop sharing your screen and go to uh, speaker view? That's what I think I'm about to see. Stop sharing. Yep, excellent. Thank you. Can you all see it now? Yeah, Boom. this is awesome, Tamba. I can see it. I can see the bedroom right now with the Garalapa. Garalapa. <laughs> uh, uh, Samuel, Samuel, I need to go sample and before you are mad. <laughs> I will be here on the 27th. Samuel is celebrating independence in this house. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm heading to the back room now. Yeah. So there is still a little more work here to do to put the shower glass, but that's the instant water heater right there. That was one of the most painful things when we are traveling in Sierra Leone to get hot water. <laughs> I can remember that. <laughs> Everybody, every participant was coming and crying, where is the hot water? There is no hot water. Yes, we have let's it. See the, let's see the living room. Let's see the living yeah, room. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm up to the general toilet. Yeah, that's the common bathroom, right? Yeah. The, the shower glass is already fixed here. Yes. That's nice. Living room. This living room, uh, all, all throughout the house, we use our wood ceiling and high ceilings. All of our ceilings are 11 feet or higher. So you have to be very, very tall to ever be able to touch this ceiling. Are those... Uh, so are the those kitchen are... and dining area. The kitchen is on this side. The dining is here. Let me just switch on the light. I was going to ask about some of the furniture. You, you can bring your own furniture too, right? Yes, you can bring your own. Remember, this is the model house. We, need, we, we want to furnish it complete so it's livable. But you can definitely bring your own house. <laughs> On the other room. Some of, some of these diasporas don't, don't use Garala Pao. Uh, what do you choose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. They can, they can use whatever they, they prefer. <laughs> we, we want to keep the economy local. So that's why we recommend in local. All this furniture is all made in Sierra Leone, by the way. None of this is imported. Well, the mattress is imported, but the rest of the furniture is made in Sierra Leone. Those beds, these are all made in Sierra Leone. That's right. Very professionally done. The doors even. Yes, the doors are also made in Sierra Leone with wood from manufactured in Sierra Leone. These are not imported. The third one. Hey, Samuel, you look like sir. I go on for go join you. No, Kayao. Get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they walking? No, Kayao. You can't sleep. You are Kayao. <laughs> Where is it? I walk. Now all they do the work. <laughs> let's, let's see the outside. Yeah, I'm going there. So this is the back 
the back the staircase leading to the deck. Go up to the deck, let's see. So this from this deck, you can actually have a good view of the ocean from the deck. So this is one area we're still working, trying to finish uh, the deck. But this deck is using a wood floor. This is not concrete, this is wood floor. And this is right above the, the, the private uh, garage. Adia, Adia. Something. No, no worry, Adia. Laundry and the kitchen on this side. And Samuel, please wait, don't walk through the post. Just hand over the key to me. <laughs> That's the generator, generator room right there. So, 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 so is the kitchen outside, Zamba? This yes. one is the biodigester. This is the biodigester. Yeah, this is the tank. This tank is about what is it five feet? Maximum five feet, feet by by four feet. Five feet by four feet. Uh, five four by feet four, by right? four feet. Yeah. If you compare this with the pits that we usually dig, this is way smaller and cost way less compared to the other ones. But it doesn't smell, and you don't have to clear it every five years or so. You don't ever have to clear it, in fact. This is the perimeter walls around. So we're going to be working on this floor in the next few weeks to finish it. That's the private this one garage. Is the garage. So, so Tamba, um, it's not up in the room. Yeah, okay, man. Hey, perimeter fence is ongoing with stone pitch. That's another place where we use a natural materials. Instead of using a lot of cement and sand, we have a lot of stones around. So we're using the stones basically to build a foundation wall of the perimeter. Somebody was asking a question. Was it Hamed? Oh, it's melting. I, I was just asking how, about, you know. how many bedrooms? Adi, you know, this house is three more. bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Oh, they make big okay. mistake. Now, okay. yeah. This is a view of the house from the public access road. Book out the office for me quick. Nice. Nice. So, I've actually been in love with uh, with this idle form. Good. Yes. Yeah, this is hydro form, it's very beautiful. We're trying to beautify and show how different it can be. A lot of people think about hydro form only as an affordable low cost housing, but it's not just about affordable low cost housing. It's also about luxury. In fact, it's more about luxury than anything else. Because this type of bricks and this type of houses in England or in America are the ones that are considered luxury compared to the typical uh, frame houses. You can see how windy it is at Kent, right? It's a very beautiful location. This one is the main security post. Yeah. It's already the slab. So this security post, we are going to build it using the same blocks that we put in our tiny model house that we built at the National Stadium in November. 
right? So we built a tiny house in the National Stadium in November during the of Thomas Street show. And we disassembled that house. So the blocks, the roof, the doors, the windows, everything we use in that house, we disassemble it. And that's what we're going to use to build the security post. That's to show how sustainable these houses can be. So we build it. After a few months, we disassemble because the blocks are interlocking. And we are able to use about 90% of the blocks. We can reuse them. Because they have no mortar joints, the blocks cannot be destroyed. This, this fence you are seeing is the one separating our land and the main highway to Kent. We are the sign board is placed. So if you ever go into Kent Beach or to Banana Island, this is the road you will take. This is the, the road. So we are right on that road. Our sign board is here. You can see the house from the street. Now. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think we have it all. So this is this is the, the our internal access internal road. Internal access road. Yeah. Yes, the one right is the external. This is our internal. So this is where you'll enter with your car. And right behind that security post is the parking spot. That's we're going to have a parking here for up to eight vehicles. Thank you very much, Samuel. Oh. I know someone was talking about power. So most of these areas around the house, we're going to be planting flowers. You can see the people are hot. So we're going to be planting flowers in this location. So this area will all turn green in the raining season. And you go inside that outside kitchen. This is the yes. Well, there's, a walk, there's a walk going on there. Okay, so this is the outside kitchen. <laughs> How much will this uh, be? Okay. Hello. But so, someone is on the line. Okay. Let me just Excellent. mute over here. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I think this was a good showcase. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Yes, please. Just one last question. I think I missed that in your presentation. Okay. Sorry about that. So what's the cost of uh, a three-bedroom like this one? This model house right now, fully furnished, we are putting it on sale for 285000 Right. Okay, we are giving it at the discounted price. If anyone is paying cash, we are ready to sell it at 255000 fully furnished. Okay. Right, without, so the furniture, without the furniture and everything, it's somewhere around 180 something thousand. Yeah, which is better. I can go with my, I can go with my, 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 my stuff. Is that USD? USD, yes. yes. Definitely. Okay, thank thank you. you so much. Yeah, thank you. And for those of you here who are real estate agents or marketing uh, people, please reach out directly to me or Samuel. We are putting this out in the market effective May. So we want to market it as much as possible so people can know about it and see it. And you guys know the market better, right? You can also tell us, is this really expensive compared to the others in Sierra Leone today from a market standpoint? Mm -hmm.